Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I know this is going to be a treat. Uh, I reviewed this beer about a year or so ago. Uh, uh, Parrish sent me one of these and uh, everything that I've had uh, from A.O. Smith Brewing. Uh, and they're out of San Diego, California, guys. They make some awesome beers. I don't, I know for a fact I have not had a bad beer from these guys. Everything they do is awesome. And, uh, Luckily for me, uh, Iwan and, and Vasi sent me another uh, bottle of this. Uh, like I said, it's been a year or so ago since I did the original one that Paris sent me. And uh, this thing is sweating profusely, so I'm not going to be able yeah, Here it is. I can read it even with all the sweat on it. It says it was bottled on February the 12th of 2015. So uh, uh, I'm doing this uh, review on the... 6th or 7th of April, so it's not quite two months old. Uh, it, it will uh, be that by the time you see this. Uh, this will probably post on the 14th, uh, the day before we leave to go to Florida. Uh, we're going to leave uh, on the 16th, so the 15th uh, will be tomorrow's beer review will be the last one that you'll see until I get back from Florida. Two week trip to Florida on a motorcycle. So, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to this beer. Uh, I wanted to try to get uh, most of the IPAs uh, and double IPAs done and I did not succeed guys uh, before I left Florida so uh, what I do have left in there will have to wait a couple of weeks till I do get back and I apologize to everybody that, uh, that has sent me some IPAs or double IPAs uh, that I have not reviewed before I had to leave to go to Florida. So let's get on with this one. This is Ale Smith's IPA. When I had it back a year or so ago it was awesome. So, uh, Iwan and Vasi, thank you for sending me another bottle. This is the 2015 edition, or re-review of this beer. So, look, really looking forward to it. This is a 22-ounce bottle. Definitely enough to share, and that's what I intend to do. So, let's get on with this one, guys. This is a 7.25% ABV. I uh, do not have the IBUs listed for this beer. Uh, commercial description, it says here on... Uh, uh, Great beer says Ale Smith IPA, IPA used to be known as Erie Pirate Ale. However, some nasty patent attorneys think the name was too similar to another brand, so we had to cease and desist. And that's how it is a lot of times in the in the, in the craft beer world on these names and stuff on there. Uh, you get litigation instead of collaboration, and that sucks. I mean, uh, what they should have done is got together and brewed something uh, and, and, and come to terms instead of having the uh, attorneys get involved because the only people that win there are the attorneys. They're the ones that's going to get rich off of that, off of the brewers and off of uh, 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 the craft beer drinkers. Uh, so, as far as I'm concerned, lawyers suck. They suck out loud. They're blood suckers. And the only reason they're there is for people to... Uh, uh, to, that uh, and most of them are ambulance chasers. I mean, I hate to maybe mouth anybody, but I have hardly any use for any attorneys. Uh, there, they're wretched. If you don't believe me, just look at Washington D.C. Just about all of them are lawyers and attorneys. You see what kind of freaking mess they got going on up there. They, they couldn't find their ass with both fucking hands. So, don't have a lot of use for for lawyers and attorneys. They're a bunch of damn clowns as far as I'm concerned. So that's enough of rant about that. A bunch of lawyers is what I say. Uh, 
says uh, it's a damn shame, but it beats the obnoxious legal battle in both expenses and etc. And don't worry though, we won't change the beer, which is a much better IPA than the other brand. And I have no doubt in my mind that that's a freaking fact. There's probably some other brewery that uh, don't know their ass from a hole in the ground that brought the litigation up against them. So I, you know, evidently they had deeper pockets, so whatever. I'm sure I would probably prefer this IPA over the other brewery's beer that they were uh, sued over. So uh, it, it says it was conceived as an American-style IPA to satisfy the earnings of most die-hard hopheads. Its high alcohol content may catch you unaware. It's not really super high at 7.25. If you're not careful, but it's hard to resist once you've tasted it. Appearance deep golden to light amber color. A nice beige head with good retention when properly served. Flavor starts off with strong citrusy, resiny flavors, balanced by a nice malty sweetness. Then fades to a dry finish with a lingering hoppiness and a faint hint of plums and black cherries. That sounds awesome right there. Uh, aroma, strong piney citrus character with vanilla in the background. Mouthfeel, body texture, smooth, medium body. Feels warm in the mouth from the alcohol. I don't remember having a, a strong alcohol taste to this beer, guys. I really, really don't. Now, somebody that's used to drinking a 4%er may find this a boozy beer. But somebody that's used to drinking bigger beers, and especially like me with over 1,650 beer reviews, a lot of times uh, these beers don't seem boozy to me where somebody that's used to drinking Miller Lighter Coors or something like that is going to bother the freaking head off. So, uh, if you're used to drinking uh, uh, the low ABV beers, this may seem a little bit boozy, but somebody like me that drinks a lot of 6, 7, 8, 10, 15, 19 percent beers uh this really is not that boozy so uh i don't think there's anything else there we need to talk about so we'll go over to the commercial description since it's an ipa it says a typical uh ipa food pairings which is the curry and the thai food cheeses are peppery pepper jack monterey shark blue chattery more pungent cheeses gorgonzola limburger and the meat for this is poultry fish shellfish and salmon and as always i'll add grilled meat to that because i like this about everything off the grill with a nice IPA. Alright guys, this says not recommend for extended cellarings, and I agree with that 100%. Drink your IPAs as fresh as you can get your little grubby hands on, just like I do. Nice hiss on that bottle. Very nice. A lot of smoke pouring out. Glass for a dice, pint back at Tumbler, Nonic, Tumbler, Nonic, Stein, Seidel, Tulip Glass. I've got the Sovereign Beer Glass at my good brother from another mother sent me parish uh sovereign beer glass s-a-u-v-i-n google it you'll find out all about it be one of Bassie, thanks a bunch for that last beer mail package while i'm pouring this you guys are awesome this is a delicious beer it was the last time i had it i'm sure it's not going to disappoint now uh, about a finger and a half, finger and three quarters of head on that semi-aggressive pour over into the light. I can see the bulb right through it. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the center of this glass. Very orange and tangerine in color. Nice amber color there. Very nice. Good looking beer in a glass, don't you think? L. Smith makes some wonderful stuff. Let's get a nose on this one, guys. Oh yes, tropical fruit notes, pine, grapefruit, pineapple, mango, pears, apples. Got a nice maltiness on the back end. Getting a little bit of uh, caramel and toffee in there. Wonderful aroma, absolutely wonderful aroma. Need a cologne that smells like this. Oh yeah. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Iwana Bassi. Oh, yes. That is so delightful. That's a world-class beer. It really, really is. If you're lucky enough to be in the California area, but you can get your hands on this, you're damn lucky. I don't know how far out of California Al Smith goes, but... Uh, if, if you can't get your hands on it, you can check with uh, 
uh, Sir Raw Liquors or CraftCity.com on the internet and I think Donovan and the guys probably stock this beer and they can ship it out to you if your state allows uh, beers to be shipped in. So, uh, mm, wonderful aroma. I could smell that all day. Mmm, that's so juicy smelling, citrusy, juicy. That is so smooth for a 7 plus percent ABV beer. Not getting the alcohol. Like I said, if you're used to drinking Miller or Coors or, or Budweiser, you drink something like this, it's probably going to it's probably gonna blow your palate out of your mouth. First of all, the hops are going to be too bitter. Uh, this is something that you, it's an acquired taste. Of the, a lot like sour beers for me. Uh, I mean, I haven't acquired it yet. But... Uh, you would have to ease into this, uh, uh, maybe with uh, a better lager than what you're drinking, or, or, or maybe even a wheat beer, and, and move your way up to maybe a brown ale or, or a pale ale, and, and then work your way into an IPA, because uh, this would definitely, uh, for the macro lager drinkers, this would blow their head off. That's like sex in the glass. It's it's freaking awesome, guys. That's that's delicious. That's super delicious. Well, let's ride out of the fridge. Time for me to pour the other half of this bottle into a glass for the other half. Let me sneak a little bit more before I do that. And uh, we're gonna sit back and sip on it for a little bit. And come back and do the final chug and grade on it. But pretty damn sure that this is an A beer. Let's see if it gets to ten. I'll be right back. Alright guys, come back. Got just a little left here. Been sipping on it probably about an hour now. Very, very tasty. Uh, sipped on this one very easily. It's why it lasted an hour. Let it come up to room temperature. Beer is freaking awesome. Just as good as I remember it being. If you can get your hands on this beer and you're a hop head, you owe it to yourself to pick it up and give it a try. I mean, it's, uh, it's top notch. It, it is a world class beer, guys. World class IPA. Final chug. The lacing left on the glass is freaking awesome, guys. Very well made beer. The guys out there now, Smith, definitely got it going on. Uh, I told you I was going to look on there, and it is, like I, I think I told you, 212 of 2015. Very tasty. Awesome. Awesome beer. It's a 10, guys. It, it definitely is a 10. Uh, silk screen, uh, label on the bottle. Uh, not a paper label or anything, and they still got the date on there. Uh, doesn't have the IBUs listed on there. I would like to see them put that on there. But uh, it's got the ABV and it's got the date. So uh, two out of three ain't bad, I guess. So ten for me on this re-review of the Ale Smith uh, IPA for 2015. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 95 world class. Uh, I think it deserves a little bit better number than that. And over to Rate Beer, they say 100 overall, 100 in the style. I agree with that. It is. It is a. Uh, it is an awesome beer. Very tasty IPA. So, if you can get your hands on it, let me know. And guys, come on back tomorrow. We're going to do the final beer before we head out to uh, Florida for a two-week vacation. So, come on back tomorrow. We'll see what's in the fridge. See you then.